I think the whole bit where he said he was a conservative and now he hadn't matured into a liberal is a bit, I mean, it kind of sullies your apology there because certainly there are conservatives who don't write about 14 year old girls as future porn actresses or abused property. Cenk Uygur, the progressive and founder of the Young Turks Network, is finding himself in a bit of a scandal because people have dug up old blog posts and statements from Cenk where he said some pretty damned awful things that he was forced to apologize about. Many of these things were pretty damn sexist. Now, according to The Wrap, Young Turks founder Cenk Uygur apologizes for ugly and sensitive old blog posts. Young Turks creator and host Cenk Uygur made multiple graphic and disparaging remarks about women in his early days as a blogger, including saying that women were genetically flawed because they don't want to have sex often enough. The Rap found the blog posts from the early 2000s in online archives. In an interview with The Rap, Uygur apologized and said he deleted the ugly posts a decade ago because, quote, I don't stand by them. We'll come back to Cenk's apology, but first I think you should see exactly why he has to apologize and what he and a producer he worked with had said. Now, a post from the Gateway Pundit goes into great detail about some of the issues the Young Turks has dealt with, and it starts with a statement from Anna Kasparian, the co-host of the Young Turks. I used to think feminists were unbearable, like feminism. Who the F needs feminism? Ugh, they just play victim, and you know, I'm gonna work hard and I'm gonna get what I want through working hard, Kasparian begins. Then I started working and I'm like, oh, holy, there's a lot of sexism, and not necessarily in this company, although you know, no, I'm gonna keep it real, look. TYT has come a super long way since I started working here, but there were issues. There were issues in the beginning, okay? Like John hosting the first hour before I hosted the first hour. And then why was that? Like that was some BS, right? So they start off with trying to point out that even Anna has brought up sexism within the Young Turks, but let's look at exactly what Jenk was saying in his blog posts way back when. May 14th, 1999, he said, obviously the genes of women are flawed. They are poorly designed creatures who do not want to have sex nearly as often as needed for the human race to get along peaceably and fruitfully. He added that, I hook up a decent amount, defined as at least make out with a new girl every six to eight weeks and have sex with a steady girl at least once a week. But it seems like there is a sea of tits here and I am drinking in tiny droplets. I want to dive into the whole goddamn ocean. He mentions how he quit law to be a talk show host and says, in Miami, it is seen as a clear decrease in earning potential and is heavily frowned upon. I have never seen girls get so turned off as when I tell a Miami girl I no longer practice law. This reaction is sickening in its depraved, whorish blatantness. This article is really long. He wrote a lot of really gross and offensive things back in 1999. And, you know, for me personally, I think if he wants to be offensive and gross, it's sure, it's his right. And keep in mind, these blog posts were deleted a long time ago, and Jenk has disavowed them. He's apologized for them. We'll get to his apology in a second. Let's read a little bit more and see what other things he has said that warrant an apology. In a web archive of the Young Turk website for his show on Sirius Satellite Radio in 2002, Uger wrote that, quote, Since this site is now an arm of the Young Turk show on the radio, it will soon showcase such lovely features as pictures of the young virginal interns who work with us on the show. That will certainly be a quantum step up from the picture displayed presently on the homepage. He even has a post where he calls Native Americans redskins. He says, these redskins show up everywhere. There's a buck to be made these days. By the way, I actually think redskin is a rare ethnic term that actually is offensive. I'm only using it now because they've made me angry. Actually acknowledging that he understands redskin is a racial epithet and that he's using it on purpose. Now look, I could, I could read through this whole thing and it really does make Jank look really bad that he said these things when he was, I believe he was in his 30s. But it wasn't just Jank, it was also someone he worked with, David Kohler. In a blog post, Kohler wrote, the main post office is in the black part of town and this was one motherfucking cool part of town. I mean, these Negroes were the real deal. I'm not saying the town was a horrible ghetto, it was, but we've all seen worse. I mean, these po' black people just hanging out in the heat. This, you don't see quite like this in the Northeast. And probably one of the most offensive things that came out of this. 
is that in a blog post, Dave talks about how they stopped three young, little spoiled brat bitch young American girls on their way to becoming abused porn actresses or dispensable property in a New York City prostitution ring. The girls live in a small town nearby and were in this town visiting the grandma of one of them. They were around 14 to 16 and in a few more years will be pretty damn good looking but not great. The post from Gateway Pundit is really, really long and this is Look, Gateway Pundit is conservative, so obviously they're gonna go right for the throat of Jenk and the Young Turks. But that last bit from, from Dave Kohler was probably the most astounding, astoundingly offensive thing that I've read in a long time. So let's look at Jenk's apology and see how he addresses this. Jenk said, the stuff I wrote back then was really insensitive and ignorant. If you read that today, what I wrote 18 years ago, and you're offended by it, you're 100% right and anyone who was subjective to that material, I apologize to, and I deeply regret having written that stuff when I was a different guy. If someone said that today, I would heavily criticize them on the show, and rightfully so, and I have. I've criticized myself over the years. I had not yet matured, and I was still a conservative who thought that stuff was politically incorrect and edgy. When you read it now, it looks really, honestly, ugly, and it's very uncomfortable to read. Unfortunately for Kohler, according to the rap, he said, I don't want to talk about any of that stuff. Thank you for calling. He told the rap by phone before hanging up. But Jenk said that Kohler wrote in a way that was over the top satire and that doesn't look good. Some of the stuff he did in there, we didn't do. We did not proposition any underage women. Now, a lot of people have brought up that yes, Jenk apologized and that these posts were from a long time ago, but the rap also highlights a few tweets that are from 2013. He says, the improbable breasts in Miami are only matched by the improbable butts. This place makes LA look real. He said, just when I think Miami is all done, it pulls me back in. The women on this island are outrageously, almost unacceptably hot, Miami. Now I understand that people are bringing up those tweets from 2013 to try and say, look, he's still like this. It wasn't something from 18 years ago, but look, Simply because he's posting about how he likes women and breasts and butts, I don't think that's a big deal. It's certainly not the same as him saying that women are genetically flawed. However, some people don't think so. You may know that Cenk Uger is the co-founder of the Justice Democrats. The Justice Democrats is a progressive political action committee founded on January 23rd, 2017 by Cenk Uger of the Young Turks, Kyle Kalinske of Secular Talk and former leadership from the 2016 Bernie Sanders presidential campaign. Justice Democrats claim to hold views that are agreed upon by most Americans but deemed politically impossible by the current political establishment because of systemic political corruption. They claim that as all campaigns need donations, the candidates who hold policies viewed as unfavorable by corporate interests and wealthy individuals will be denied funding. Therefore, the system actually ends up forcing politicians to change their policies to cert the current business environment. The Justice Democrats have called on Jank and Kohler to resign. In a statement they put out on Twitter, they said, We are deeply disturbed by recent news regarding Jank Uger and David Kohler. Their language and conduct is horrifying and does not reflect our values at Justice Democrats. We would be hypocrites to not act immediately and ask for their resignation. Here is our official statement. The statement basically talks about the posts and why they're offensive. But here in the second paragraph, we see, Mr. Uger decided to resign from the board yesterday at 11 p.m. Eastern Time and he has agreed to remove himself from any and all involvement with our organization. David Kohler has also resigned as treasurer of our organization. So look, I really don't like this trend of digging up people's pasts to try to smear them. People change. I mean, what is it like every seven years, every cell in your body is different. People become different people over time and they learn and they progress. And sometimes it's for the better and sometimes it's for the worse. In Jenk's case, I think he's certainly made an improvement. I don't think he's a perfect guy or anything, but certainly these posts were pretty disgusting and he's apologized for them. I think the whole bit where he said he was a conservative and now he hadn't matured into a liberal is a bit, I mean, it kind of sullies your apology there because certainly there are conservatives who don't write about 14 year old girls as future porn actresses or abused property. That's pretty horrifying. And certainly there are people on the left who have been abusive towards women like Al Franken, for instance. So it, your political alignment doesn't matter. If you're a bad person, you're a bad person. And I will say, we shouldn't attack people like Jenk simply because they had a bad past. Certainly we bring the story up because it's important to know that this is where, this is where he came from. And maybe that makes him look better now. Maybe it, it shows that he, he became a better person, he learned right from wrong, 
and he's apologizing for these types of behaviors. We need to celebrate when people do better. We need to celebrate when people apologize for doing things wrong so that we can say, hey, we don't want you to do those types of things. And if you apologize for that, that's really cool. So I actually see this story as a net positive for the Young Turks. Is it gross that they wrote all of these things? Yeah, it really is. But is it awesome that he's apologized for it, condemned it? Yes, it is. I think, again, the I was a conservative, now I'm a liberal thing is kind of sullies that apology, but it is good to see that people take action and correct their mistakes. Because look, you have to allow people to gracefully change. Otherwise, you'll force them to stay as bad people. But let me know what you think in the comments below. We'll keep the conversation going. Do you think Jenk is beyond redemption? Or do you accept his apology and think we should focus on his ideas as opposed to things he said a long time ago? Or are the things he said a long time ago just a representation of who he is on the inside? Do you think he's really changed or not? Again, comment below. We'll keep the conversation going. If you want to follow me, I'm on Twitter for breaking news and live streams. I am at TimCast. If you want to support my work, you can go to TimCast.com forward slash donate to give whatever you'd like or give nothing at all. My videos are always free and available every day at 4 p.m. Stay tuned. I might have a live stream later. I know I've been saying that, but also go to my second channel. Down in the, descri in the description below, I have a link to my second channel where I'll be putting out more thoughts and comments on issues related to you know, direct conversations I have. So make sure you subscribe there if you aren't already. And I will see you all tomorrow at four.